All right, guys. This is Adenon. And I'm going to start doing some Let's Plays. So we're going to do The Last Days of the Third Age. It's a, it's a mod for Mountain Blade. It's actually the bomb.com. And I need to... I'll just get rid of this one since it's nothing. All right. This is a pretty kick-ass mod for um, Mountain Blade. It came out, I think, October... 31st, maybe? Maybe 30th? I think it was like a week before Skyrim, that's the way I remember it. Maybe, maybe like November 1st or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to go through this real fast. We are going to play as Rohan. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I played the game as Gondor a little bit, and then as um, Mirkwood a little bit. The thing was, though, Mirkwood is kind of... Anything in the north is kind of stupid to play as because... Um, the good guys in the north offer just, there's just no challenge. I don't know, they're going to do some patch or something soon, but um, basically it's kind of imbalanced right now. In the, in the north, you, just, you can just sit there and eat some cheese puffs and watch as the elves and the dwarves and the men of Dale just pretty much steamroll Gundabad, Rune, Moria, and Dokaldur. So we're not going to do that because kind of loses the point after a while. Um, so we're going to play The War in the South, like is in the movies, and we are going to be Rohan, I think there's some charisma, and we are going to be in the South because it's actually pretty challenging, I'm not going to lie. Rohan, you can do pretty well, but if Gondor doesn't start going after Mordor immediately, they're done, because Mordor likes to steamroll. Now the thing you'll see is generally... Evil troops are pretty easy to kill in the battles. Um, I'm just going to make my name Justice. Solid name. Uh, the evil troops are pretty easy to kill in the battles, but they have a ton more troops on the map. Um, hmm. And so, essentially what happens is that in individual battles you can win pretty easy, but a lot of times Gondor and Rohan and whatever will lose the war against Isengard, Mordor, and all that simply because, um, I don't want to be weird, uh, simply because they don't have the strength overall. This mod has a lot of cool features that the original Blade just doesn't have, and we'll probably see those as we go through. We'll see. In Middle Earth, the shadow is growing in the east, and dark things come forth that have long been hidden. Free people prepare for war, the like of which has not been seen for an age. Men, elves, dwarves, and orcs, all will play their part. What part, however, remains to be seen. Go forth upon your chosen path. Alright. So, this is a pretty faithful recreation, or recreation of uh, uh, the world of Middle Earth. And here's the war in the south. I've kind of got it reversed. There we go. Gondor, Minas Tirith, there's Mordor over here. Um, these are the... Khan. Got more Mordor. And basically the war hasn't started yet. The war will start after I think I reach level 7 or something like that. So we'll just do random quests. I do have the cheats on, but I'm not going to use them. The reason why I have cheats on though is because this is a mod. It's not perfect. There are still bugs. And so from time to time I may have to move myself on the map or do something like that so that I can get out of a stuck situation. Here's Erebor. It's pretty cool on the inside. Dale and all the rune. Here are the Mirkwood Elves. Uh, these are like Bjorn. I haven't read a lot of the books, so I'm not entirely sure who these guys are. Bjorn Elves, Dogledur. These are the Wolfwarian Elves and this is Riven Elf. And so pretty much... Oh yeah. And down here is Isengard, uh, Dunedinlings, Bars and Haradrim. So, pretty much, you just draw a line basically across here. Everything up here is just going to get destroyed by the good guys. I mean, Moria will fall fast. Gundabad builds outposts after the war starts and they just get absolutely destroyed by the elves. And Erebor and Dale are right here. And Northern Rune only gets two more camps over here, so these guys basically just steamroll Rune. So. All right, well, let's get started. Let's first go into Edris. Edris. I don't remember how it's pronounced. Save. Uh, so this is a little heavy sea. Just how well they recreated the cities. Oh, I don't have a horse yet. That's wonderful. 
Uh, look, I mean, pretty faithful recreation. Uh, it's pretty good. But I need to talk to the king. And you might be wondering, why don't you just travel to the castle? Well, because you cannot just um, uh, go to the marketplace or go to the stables. You have to discover it first. So I like to do that in places I'm going to be a lot. So the supply master of your stable should be somewhere around here. No, no, I don't see it. But you have to like walk up and then you can ask, access them from the quick travel menu. And it's actually a smart idea. It can be annoying, but it's actually fairly smart because then it makes you actually walk around the cities that the devs actually made. So... Uh, if only I have faster athletics, then this wouldn't take so long. It's such a pretty day. Huh. I can only imagine how long this took to make. I mean, it was in development for four years. Ooh, who are you? Does you have supplies for me? Yes. I am not thinking of getting them out. But these aren't actually as expensive as I thought. 1400 Oh yeah, the other thing I should mention out. See, 50 resource points at Rohan. Each area has different resource points. And you can gain ranks as like captain in each area. And then you'll get like, it's kind of like, I guess in regular Mountain Blade, when you can get like a weekly taxes from your villagers. If you're captain, you get paid. Um, and basically each, come on, there you go, local authority. Uh, each place has its own currency resource points, but there are different areas. And so you cannot use the resource points from Rohan and Gondor and vice versa. You gotta work your way up within that individual faction. And because I chose Gondor, I'll be able to get special ranks within Gondor that, uh, that will look different. Um, like if I gain rank with Gondor, or with Rohan, gosh, man, uh, I mean with Rohan. Since I since I started with Rohan, that means that it'll upgrade it. I don't even know what the ranks are, but it'll say special things like maybe Captain of Rohan or things like that. But if I go to Gondor and I try to become friends with them, then it's just going to be like stranger to Gondor, familiar to Gondor, known to Gondor. They're going to be the ranks. It's not going to be like captain or things like that because that's not who I allied with. Legionaries are permanent in this game. You cannot be a mercenary and just walk around. You cannot be a guy who's helping Ro Rohan and then turn around and help Mordor. No. If you want to help Mordor, you have to pick that in the beginning. So here's the top. It's pretty sick and nasty, actually. Music's pretty decent too. I don't know how loud it is. I have it at, I uh, this one you can see. We are top Edris. And uh, I don't even remember what it's called. Like Medusa. Medusa the Golden Hall. Any tests for me? Blah blah blah. We're hunting down, execute blah, of course. And there are different quests. There aren't just the standard mountain lake quests. This is really pretty good. King Verdon, King of Rohan, and the ruler of Edris. Blah. blah blah, servant of Rohan. You should already know they're fighting against Isengard and the Dundonlings. You should help. I will. Na, 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 na. I need you to get close enough to Isengard and scout to get it. Now, I, I don't know. There's not going to be any soldiers for a few in-game days. So we can wait ourselves back. One thing about this game, this is a Hornbury. This is a pretty cool place. People can die in this game. Lords can die and a lot of times they'll be like, uh... Actually, we're going to wait. No. Well, we'll see. Are there any lords here that I can talk to you now? I'll come back when I have a horse so it doesn't take forever to walk through. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, people can die in this game. And I, I remember Aomir died when I was playing as the elves. Oh boy, that can't be good. Um, Aomir died and they built like a tomb for him. Nope, get away. Mm -mm. I'm not, not looking for a fight with Dunland Outcast. They outcast you. Anyway, uh, people can die. And when, I, when Aomir died in my Mirkwood campaign, uh, they built a burial tomb like right here. And you can go up to the barrel and swear an oath of vengeance. And then whoever killed them, you're supposed to kill a lot of them with a crap. 
within a certain amount of time, and then, and then you'll get a trait. Uh, you'll get a trait, which is like Oath Keeper. If you actually keep the oath within a suitable amount of time, I have no troops. This is wonderful. Uh, crap! I have no shield. This is gonna be bad. Oh boy. Hide me tree. The yeah, other traits. And if you uphold an oath, you'll get like Oath Keeper or whatever, and then. And, uh, and then you can. It, it gives you like a weekly influence bonus. And if you don't do it, you get Oath Breaker. But there's a lot of traits like that. And this is just awful. Please stop throwing arrows at me. This is just not nice. Please stop. I wish I had a shield. Oh my god. Uh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, my I'll take you out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Shattering pains, you shiver. All the world goes black. Is this your end? No, it's not. There is one. you for dead. Left you there. Power seems to none of your wounds relief. Oh, and though you feel awful, you find you can still walk. You get up and turn to look 